so in the primary the first case is the patient comes to you there is any kind of trauma um, obviously if there is a trauma the tooth will be discolored and it is asymptomatic or maybe the patient yeah the patient was playing in the playground and she or he had a trauma and they didn't even notice they never came to the dentist and then later on they came for some other filling and you just noticed at one of the teeth it is discolored but there is no pain no swelling no signs and symptoms obviously it's a primary tooth it's gonna come off right so you don't need to do anything because there are no signs and symptoms right primary teeth for trauma you treat usually when you notice signs and symptoms right and you will not uh, consider discoloration as the sign okay you will ignore the discoloration so for the treatment purpose so if there is a discolored tooth primary tooth and there are no signs and symptoms obviously you don't do treatment or if the patient is concerned about aesthetics what you can do is you can do the composite okay that's all you will do now suppose the tooth is um, discolored and uh, uh, there is only a fracture in the enamel or the dentin again you will not do anything what you do is you take a radiograph because you want to check whether the pulp is involved or not you want to make sure pulp is not involved okay you take a radiograph now first radiograph you take immediately that is the baseline because you're going to compare the uh, the next radiographs with this these findings okay so you take it as a baseline then after six weeks again means after one and a half or two months again the patient will come to you and you will check it then after again one year okay so after two months and then after one year you will again check it plus you can check the pulp sensitivity sensibility test so basically what you are trying to do is you are just trying to assess the status of the pulp that's it okay now suppose you find out that the pulp is involved if the pulp is involved there could be many conditions there could be signs and symptoms or in the worst case scenario there could be the abscess the obvious sign right so there could be abscess as well so anything like if the pulp is involved uh, means there are just other signs and symptoms or the abscess is there what you will do is you will do pulpectomy if you figure out yeah if you figure out pulpectomy is not working in this case you can extract the tooth okay so when do you observe the tooth you observe the tooth till it is asymptomatic or the pulp is not involved okay at the maximum you can do something of the restorative um, uh, means something restorative you can do for enamel fractures for discolorations for aesthetic purposes if the patient is willing otherwise you will not touch the tooth unless and until the pulp is involved in the primary tooth so trauma for the primary teeth is very easy 